Academic travel happens um, every semester and you have a professor lead a group of about uh, between 20 to 30 students to a particular uh, country. Travel is something out of this world. You have this small group of people put together. It's kind of this time away from campus where you're given this opportunity not only to travel but to meet people who go to Franklin who you would not otherwise necessarily meet before. It's two weeks and you're always, you know, next to each other. Because you have to think about a subject and you have to think about a place and then you have to think about how to put these two together and then and then insert the students into that. So and it's a chance for students to really sort of practice being these global citizens that we strive to create at Franklin. So travel, it's a really amazing learning experience and I feel like what we learn in the classroom, we tend to forget that it applies to all the places around us. You really do gain the understanding of a different culture very well on travel. We had many opportunities to really get a sense of what's going on there. We cannot underestimate the importance of actually being there, of being in a culture, of being in a particular place, understanding how a society works. My first one was to Venice, then I went to Serbia and Croatia with Professor Dudukovic, then uh, New York and Boston with Zemeckia, amazing travel, then Brazil, South Korea, and now was Malawi and Mozambique. Uh, what they say about Malawi, the warm heart of Africa, is completely true. Freedom Gardens, for sure, was another highlight for me completely. It was such a good idea and an initiative that they're doing. The children, they're just, they take your breath away. They're so sweet and cute and nice and it was an eye-opener in a sense. Like, I loved it. It added an extra level and layer of understanding and it, it made these things real. And I don't think it's possible to put it all together instantly, but you know, once you know, everybody comes back and you bring them back into the classroom, I think that's where the, the, the big steps of learning take place. It's really um, an amazing part of my experience at Franklin.